The objective of this fascial motion is so you can feel how your arms are connected to your rib cage and that the power in your arms is really coming from your torso. You begin by visualizing that you have dots along your arms. I'm going to turn around so you can see that we're talking about dots along the pinky, wrist, elbow, shoulder, shoulder blade, up to the center to the spine, down to the next shoulder blade, shoulder, elbow, wrist, and then pinky. And we will feel how they're all connected to each other through your torso. You'll begin by letting your arms rest and feel gravity, how it just pulls them toward the ground. So don't force them straight, just let them relax. If you lift your arms out to the sides, your focus will be on keeping your shoulder dots from moving. So you would want, might want to look in a mirror for this. But I'm slowly going to let my arms raise to the sides, not changing the shape, and making sure that the shoulder dots don't move from that position. If I can do that, I will begin to feel how the power is really in the shoulder blade dot and not in my shoulder or my arm, lifting my arms. You'll begin to feel how they're connected. Once you get to this point, you will simply bring your palms towards each other again by not feeling your shoulder, be keeping your shoulder dot still and then bringing them away from each other. If you bring them slightly backward, you'll feel your shoulders want to lift. Again, don't let your shoulder dots lift, keep them still and then bring them back to the center. Bring it from there, we're going to do the uh, follow the leader. So your wrist dot is going to lead the way to the right and then the other wrist dot will lead the way back to the left. So I'm going to turn around and you can see how when I begin to move my wrist dot on the right to the right, my elbow follows, my shoulder follows, and my shoulder blade, which connects to the spine and pulls the left shoulder blade, left shoulder, left elbow, left wrist, left pinky. We're going to move back the other direction by pulling the left wrist, left elbow, follows, left shoulder, shoulder blade, spine, shoulder blade, all the way to the right, and then back and forth and back and forth and my elbows don't change position. Right. Once you feel that your arm lines are connected to your rib cage because you have not moved your shoulder blades, you're ready to fly your airplane. Stand with your feet slightly wider than your hips or just under your sit bones. Keeping your arm lines connected from pinky to pinky, I'm simply going to bend to the right just like an airplane would. My head goes in line, stays in line with my spine. Come back up to center and repeat on the left. Come back up to center and try to turn. Again, keeping that connection from pinky to pinky, I'm gonna turn my airplane to my right, back to my center, turn my airplane to my left. Notice my lower body doesn't go anywhere. It stays perfectly straight. Combination, back to center, turn, bend to the right, turn to the left. Still, my, up, my lower body doesn't move. Re reverse and back up and then repeat on the left. Bend to the left, turn to the left, unbend and unturn and drop your arms. And that's your airplane.